An overnight house fire in Waco claiming the lives of two young children. Police identifying them today as four-year-old Anthony Puente and two-year-old Rachel Allman. Two other family members were able to escape alive. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Leslie Rangel. And I'm Robert Burns. Let's send this story right on over to Fox 44's Christina Bauer. She is live out there uh, in front of the house where that fire happened. Christina, who else was there? Leslie Robert, Waco firefighters tell me the two children, ages two and four, lived here with their grandmother. She safely escaped with her 11 year old daughter. Erica Anderson feels heartbroken after a fire killed a four year old boy and a two year old girl this morning after one o'clock. I have three kids and I can't imagine my kids dying in a house fire. So uh, my parents are with the family. Waco firefighters explain it took a while to find the children trapped inside. Given the zero visibility conditions, you know, heavy smoke and uh, heat, of course, they were trying to fight fire as well. So they had to, you know, they were up against some, some pretty bad odds. An ambulance rushed the children to Baylor Scott and White Hospital where they later died. The firefighters that were uh, trying to rescue them, um, they feel like they've been hit pretty hard too. Uh, many of them had children of similar ages. Deputy Chief Bergerson says there were two non-working smoke alarms in the house. He reminds everyone to frequently check those alarms. Also, uh, at night, it's very important to sleep with your doors closed because it reduces the possibility of smoke spread into bedrooms. Anderson hopes the family can take solace in knowing the children are now with God. He's going to take care of them. He's going to get them through it, and he's going to help them to make it. Waco firefighters tell me American Red Cross is helping now the family. Waco ISD tells me they have provided school supplies and clothes for the 11 year old student. They are also working with the Faith Alliance to come up with additional resources on how to help the family. Live in Waco, Christina Bauer, Fox 44 News.